Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about this angular, right? So in the previous video, we have completed the subjects and all those things, RxJS and everything we have completed. Now we will let's move into the another important topic. Uh, another important topic that is nothing but form handling in the angular. That means in angular, we have a separate concepts, separate concept in handling of the forms. If you see in ReactJS or Vue.js, any other frameworks, you will be uh, uh, you will be not having the form handling thing separately but in angular you will be having a different way of handling the forms so mainly this form handling what we can say is form handling can be done in two ways okay in angular one is template driven form and one other one is reactive forms template driven forms is the most common approach what we can say so uh, the name itself implies that the template driven form in the in the code the logic everything the logic mainly focused on the template code itself that means in the html tag itself we will be writing all the logic and the reactive forms is nothing but the name itself is the reactive forms so if you want to implement complex logics and all the complex uh, uh, form handling and all those things if you want to implement if you want to have more command on the forms means more command means more control on the forms means you need to implement with the reactive forms some common approaches like uh, login form, sign up form and all those things we can achieve through these template forms. And we can also achieve this uh, same thing with React forms, but React forms has the more control. Okay, so these are the two different ways how we will be implementing the form handling in the Angular. So one is the template driven form, most of the code will be in the, what we can say in the template code itself, that means HTML file itself. And the React forms more and all the control of the code we will be developing the form in the TypeScript code. Okay, we will be developing the form and everything will be in, in the TypeScript code. We will see how we will be writing that one all in the reactive form. First, we will see the template driven forms. So, first template driven forms, <coughs> as I as I can say, as we can say that in Angular, the form, every the form what we have seen, the everything, the form. So, if it is a form tag, means everything will be converted into the what I can say it into the form object. Okay. So into the form object it will be converted into the form object. So in that form object, we'll be having all the data related to that form. So we need to capture that form object so that we'll be using that form object anywhere in our TypeScript code. So let's see how we can, uh, what will be the form object, how the Angular will convert the form, form everything, form tag and uh, form elements into the form object, how it will convert, we will see. So let's, let's first before continuing, we will create a new component, okay. So ng hyphen, same, same project only, I am using the same project. I am creating a new, uh, new, uh, new component, template form, okay. I will create a new form, new component, template form. So if you see the output here, the same component I am using. So I'll, I am creating, I am creating the template form, okay. It will take some time to create the template form. Okay, template form has been created. Now, if you see here, here it, you will be having the template form. So here is the TS file and here is the HTML file. Okay, let's uh, have it this one. And now I will, uh, let's define the route for this one. So if we go to the app uh, routing module, so these all we have already covered. So down I will be just copying, pasting and here what I will try to do is template form. I will write just template form so that it should load template form component, right? So it should load template form component. Now fine done. So now what we'll be trying to do is if we go to the app.component.html, we will add a navigation link so that we can directly move to that one instead of typing the whole name in the URL. We'll type we'll write it here template form. And now here what I can write router link and it should be something like template form. Okay. Now if you go here, if you see the output, let it refresh. So I think it is refreshing. So here if you see here you will be able to see an option template form. If I click here, I am able to see the template form works. Okay, here I will write one simple form. So if we go here to the template form, here I will write uh, dot container. Okay, this all comes under uh, bootstrap. So here what I will try to do is I will try to create a simple form. Okay, in this form, I will create a form group. Okay, so label. Okay, I will be having input. So here I have written, sorry. So input will be reading. So I have, I have created a label. So here I have a label, form group, I have created a label. 
so here i can write something like user name and for is equal to username you can write whatever you want and here what i will try to do is input type is equal to text <coughs> input type is equal to class is equal to form control okay these are all bootstraps is not a to styling purpose and all the things i am using these are classes these are nothing to do with the angular or anything so i am creating another one okay now this one i will write email so that it will be very easy so email and here it will be of type email and if you are writing for easy means you here you can write id is equal to email so same thing so that the label if you click on the label it will directly automatically focus on the text box corresponding text box okay now here i can write another form something like gender now here i can also i can use the gender gender and here i will be having simple select box what is happening here okay sorry i will be having a simple select box and of type class is equal to form control okay and here i can give gender here i will be having option value is equal to male so that it will be so we can give the gender and also here i can give female so this is simple form okay now i will be adding here one div tag so that i will be having class is equal to mt2 mt2 means margin top 2 now i can have one button so here i can write type is equal to submit okay so i am writing the submit button so i can apply a class something like btn btn hyphen primary so these are the classes for the button okay in order to get a new design for a uh, nice design for the button so i add or otherwise you can write submit or anything you can this is a simple form if i go to here and if i see the output here i am able to see a simple form here okay so this is the username email and mail uh, so gender now what i will try to do is i need to capture this all the data in the template driven form so in order to catch this all template driven form so first we need to convert this one into template driven form so in order to convert the template driven form first what we need to do is we need to add here name so any the any anything so if you want to convert the form detail so you need to have a name here name i can write username okay and we need to add ng model just add ng model like this so let me keep it down okay so we need to add it as name and name is equal to username and ng model okay here also same thing name is equal to email and we need to add ng model okay now here also we need to add <coughs> name is equal to gender and here you will be writing ng model we will see about this ng model why i have written like this so for two way binding i have written square bracket and also uh, parenthesis i have written like that right so i just we need to write only the ng model so that means ng model we are saying that it it the form the so please take these values please consider these values in the form object we are saying so please include these all elements input elements into the form object we are saying okay and also the name we have given so that each each of the in the form object so it will be having with this name okay now this is the name we have we have declared ng model uh, ng model and all the things now what we need to do is we need to add a reference for this one okay hash f so how we have added a reference uh, something like in the view child like this for an h for an element so with the same scenario we need to add a hash f and here you will be having a special method for the form submit what i can say is ng submit okay ng submit is equal to i can write on form submit okay let's try to implement this one on form submit so that's it it's uh, now if i go here and if i write on form submit okay now if i try to console.log submit the form okay if i write the submit the form if you see here if i inspect the element and if you see here console the data and if you see 
if i click on submit here and we got that submit the form so we are able to invoke the function on form on form submit so here what i need to do i need to get the data in the form so how i can get the data so we need to catch this reference we need to send this reference so just i will send this reference okay f yep. now here how can i catch this one f yep. i can catch this one as an f now if I, I will try to print this f what could be this f just will try to print this f so if i try to print this f what will be the output here so let's check the output let's hit refresh okay on form submit of f i am i am getting the data and here let us refresh and i click on f now what i am getting i am getting the total element element of this form but i don't want this element i want the form object so as i already told you angular converts this whole form element into an object so we need that object so here we are getting something like element ref what we have seen uh, in the previous year, view child element ref we have seen right in the same concept we are getting the form element we are getting input for html form element we are getting right so html form we don't want this html form element we know that this is html form element we need the form object so how we can get this form object is so here we need to go and here we need to mention is please consider this one as ng form okay so we will be having a special uh, special uh, parameter so ng form so please consider this one as ng form and we need to send this here so as this one is an ng form here you can go and you can here if you want you can mention the type also ng form so this could be included from the angular slash forms okay you will be having a special type if you don't mention also not problem but as, as typescript is a strictly type language so we need to mention this type so ng form now we will try to try to print this f what could be the f now if i refresh this one and if i print submit now see you will be able to get an object so the total big object i am able to see if i if i move it top if i all right yeah if i move it top you you will be able to see the bunch of object and if you see here here you will be able to see the value whatever the values you will be entering here so for example i will type it okay i will select the male or female and if i if i remove this one and if i click again you will be in the form object and here if you see the value and here you will be able to see the whatever the data i have written you are able to see here see so this is the template form in this way we will be getting the form data from the html uh, template form okay so this is how we can get the data from the template form and and in the next video what we will try to see we will see the data what is the data we are getting so we will try to see so this is how we can get the total form object from the template okay this is the uh, this is the basic structure of the basic thing how we can write in the template driven form in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you